Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. It's been an exciting few days with the Federal Reserve meeting and the um, BIS, the Bank for International Settlements, conference this morning. So a lot of great information came out. We'll discuss a little more of that shortly. Two blockchain bills pass in the U.S. House and they head for the Senate. So tonight, the Consumer Safety Technology Act passed in the House of Representatives. Two of its three titles were blockchain and crypto-focused bills from Representative Darren Soto, the Democrat of Florida, while the third focuses on regulating AI. And Soto's bills had previously passed in the House only to be shelved amid the political maelstrom that surrounded the end of the last Congress and the presidential election. Their passage this early in the current Congress will at the very least give the Senate more time to consider them than they had last time around. So the Blockchain Innovation Act would require the Department of Commerce and the Federal Trade Commission or FTC to put together a report on blockchain's use in trade and especially to fight in fraud. And on the House floor last night, Soto described the bill as a first step towards our long-term goal of setting up a blockchain center of excellence in the Department of Commerce. So the Digital Taxonomy Act, not to be confused with Warren Davidson's token Taxonomy Act, starts with the proposition that the use of digital tokens and blockchain tech is likely to increase in the future, and it subsequently mandates that the FTC assemble a report on unfair and deceptive practices in cryptos markets. So again, showing the inevitability, not possibility, of the future for digital assets. And Coinbase approved to enter the Japanese cryptocurrency market and diving right in. According to the FSA, Coinbase is approved to trade BTC, BCH, ETH, LTC, and of course, XLM. So that's great for the Stellar Lumens XLM holder and investors in the community. So LumenSwap is the evolution of a revolution. And this is another great discussion as again, it connects right back to Stellar. So before DeFi, no one would think that we could have a financial network together without the help of credible organizations. A network where everyone has equal opportunities and access to resources and where everyone can play a significant role and provide or use pair-to-pair -pair services, gain profit or pay for other services. So with the emergence of applications such as Compound, Maker or Uniswap, the revolution entered a new phase. However, because of the rapid growth of users and demands and the lack of scalability of Ethereum, the usage fee of these applications quickly skyrocketed and the fees are so high that as of April 20th, 2021, the fee of one transaction on the Ethereum network is about $32 or $32 USD. And if you've had to move any ERC-20 or Ethereum asset uh, from the exchange to the wallet or vice versa, it is just very financially painful. And again, something that brings out the benefit of assets like XRP and XLM, very minimal to no almost fees and very, very fast. So in the... Uh, article just a bit here by benefiting from the quorum slices stellar can handle thousands of transactions per second and this means a suitable platform for performing financial operations and transactions and what's lumen swaps role in all this lumen swap is the decentralized exchange and an open source client for the stellar network that allows you to swap and trade assets on the network using a friendly minimal Interface and LumaSwap seeks to bring the DeFi industry into the Stellar space in order to familiarize users with inherent features of the Stellar network, such as high speed and low fees. And also, to supporting Ukrainian financial institutions to leverage blockchain is the blog on Stellar as well. 
So the bill of Ukraine on virtual assets is approaching a vote in the coming months. And as financial institutions and the country prepare for the implications of new legislation, conversation that bring the public and private sector together are vital in order to build a thriving industry. With this in mind, we designed this event to provide practical information for key stakeholders and decision makers in Ukraine who will be involved in issuing, regulating, and developing infrastructure for virtual assets. So representatives from the National Bank, Ukrainian Parliament, and across banking market were in attendance. And they explain why public and private partnerships are crucial. Ultimately, our goal is to help Ukrainian leaders leverage blockchain tech to deliver meaningful infrastructure and solutions. And deployed correctly, blockchain can benefit the local economy and end users without sacrificing oversight, accountability, or regulation. And this is why it is critical for the private sector to engage with the public sector to ensure that legislation balances the need for new and improved financial rails with the need to guard against innovations that empower illicit actors. When public and private sector leaders share the desire to get this right, it's possible to deliver on innovation that will be transformative. Next, I want to discuss building global trade and finance applications on the XDC network with Tatum, creating scalable, compliant on-chain enterprise solution has never been easier. So as far as hybrid blockchains go, the XDC network is leading the pack in terms of security, speed, transaction fees, and scalability. Now the blockchain has been integrated into Tatum, allowing you to build your applications on it without having to run any nodes or learn to code for the blockchain itself. So XDC network is built for global trade and finance applications, and it uses a unique and exceedingly energy efficient delegated proof of stake the consensus network, the XDPOS, and that leverages the power of stakeholder approval voting to resolve consensus issues in a fair and democratic way. So with near zero gas fees and blazing fast transaction times, the network can handle anything that is thrown at it for a fraction of the price of other blockchains. With full EVM compatibility, developers who are already comfortable with Ethereum will have no problem getting acquainted with the XDC network and it's also iso 20022 standard compatibility so this is another reason as you can see why xrp for wholesale xlm for retail and xdc for trade finance are my top three in those areas and you could add on v chain vet for my four number four spot for the supply chain and again those assets are focused in different lanes and I think they are all going to make an enormous impact over the next few years for the global disruption and the future of finance. And also, too, I want to discuss the BIS optimistic about central bank digital currencies. And I think they're very, very optimistic, especially after listening today. I'm not sure if you follow our Twitter channel. But we've shared a few clips there, and I believe they are very, very bullish. So into the article just a bit. The central bank of central banks says CBDCs are necessary for maintaining the status quo of the legacy financial system. And the Bank for International Settlements, BIS, has reaffirmed its support for central bank digital currencies, the CBDCs. And again, if you listen to them today talking about the plumbing Talking about the level playing field, it was almost as if, you know, the the discussion we've had before a few years ago with Brad Garlinghouse on stage as he was being asked in regards to the Federal Reserve when he said, maybe I should take those questions. Today, that was the first thought in my head whenever they were discussing for the Bank for International Settlements. The first thought in my mind was maybe Brad Garlinghouse should answer those questions as well. All right, guys, remember this is not financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only. But before we go, I want to leave you with a final thought. It's easier to go down a hill than up it, but the view is much better at the top. I want to say thanks again to our VIP on Patreon, Surfmeister, and to each and every one of you. Hit that like and subscribe and share this video if you can. 
We will catch you in the next one.